Okay, um, this thing comes, th this is not connected, and these are two pieces. So you're going to put these two pieces together, um, a bolt here and a bolt here. It's best just to tighten it now, just make sure these holes are straight or centered so that you're not going to fight sticking it through the studs under the truck. And then those two bolts there to put the actual flip step in there. And then there is a third nut bolt like this that I left loose. And this is going to go to the frame. It's just another bracket. Um, they do give you these in case your bumper nuts are too short. Or I should say the studs. And then this goes on farther. But it looks that I'm getting a full nut. So I'm not really worried about that. And then this will be the bolt that goes in. There's already an existing hole in the frame with threads in it. And that's going to go through there. Okay, we got it all done. Um, I had one just like this on my power wagon. I know this sticks out more than the stock um, one from the factory, but it's a pretty decent step. So here's the clearance we're talking about. So it is close, but um, I don't think it would take quite a bit if I'm hitting it to hit it. <clears throat> I did end up using those nuts that go inside of the steel so that it grabs more threads. So here's that bolt that goes to, um, looks like, yeah, it's the hitch that's that support. Then there's that nut, I tighten that at the end. And that's it. So you got these two bolts that mounted to the bumper bolts. This one here supporting off here. And then at the end, they don't give you an option to adjust this side to side, so and probably because of clearance issues. So these three torques holds the um, pad to the step. So there you have it. I don't really anticipate any issues with that. Like I said, uh, I had this exact one in my power wagon. Um, I just didn't. I didn't want to make sure I got one that did not hit the um, exhaust pipe because I, I, I guess some of those cheaper uh, Chinese version ones were doing that. They're hitting people or banging when they're closing it, whatever. It could be the installers too, I have no idea. So um, with that, that'll end this video. That was pretty quick. Um, I still have to do the bed. I'm going to put that tonneau cover the revolver that was on the TRX on here and uh, yeah I, there's a couple more things I think but oh there'll be remote start coming up too so till next time oh if, please if you uh, like what you see and you can give me some ideas if you guys want to see something else uh, just hit the like and subscribe button and we'll see you next time